All right, gang, remember I'm on a Mac, so um, I'm showing you here uh, the downloads. There's the factory banks here. There's an old, uh, this is the firmware 11 factory banks. This is FractalBot and this is X3 edit install. So let's go ahead and try and install FractalBot. Even let's take a look at it so that you know what happens. You click it and then it's gonna ask you to just copy it over to applications. On my hand, can I get a little message saying, hey, you already got that. You sure you want to do it? I'm going to say, yeah. Okay, and that was it. So that's all I had to do to install FractalBot. Pretty easy. And then when I go to my apps folder, um, and I've got it on my dock here, and I run it, it runs. There you go. Again, connected firmware 11.01. .01. So it, it tells me the firmware. So... Let's suppose I want to uh, update a firmware. Um, one thing I got to do is I have to unzip it. All right. So let me pull up hopefully that uh, picture again of downloads and whatnot. Um, and let's go to the factory banks and I'm just going to unzip it here. Sorry, I got to use this program to do it. And I'm going to unzip it into my downloads folder. And there we go. And we're going to get out of that. All right, so we're going to be out of the unzip program. Now, note that, look, I've got banks A, B, and C unzipped here from the factory. Pretty cool, huh? See that? Bank A, bank B, excuse me, bank A, bank C. So again, you've always got them on your computer, and you can send them anytime you want. I'm going to show you how to send banks in a little bit. Uh, we've already looked to talk about receiving them. But the other problem we've got here is we've got this uh, firmware. And this firmware comes in a zip file. So when you click it, you're going to have to unzip that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip this, and I'm going to, again, send it back to the downloads area. All right. And goodness grief. There it is. It came in there, and there's probably some notes in here, release notes right here for it, etc. But that's the firmware file, 11.01 .01 firmware. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to send the 11 firmware to the Axe Effect. So I'm going to show you how that process works. All right, so I'm going to get out of here, get out of WinZip, and we are going to, since we've got 11.1 .1 on here, but if yours says something less than that, or you want to update firmware in the future, this is how you do it. Browse, we know I put it in my downloads folder. We know that this is what it is, it's going to end in SYX. X3, release 11.01, .01. okay? So that's how you know that's the firmware. We downloaded that, there it is. Now, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna take a little while for it to do it. It transfers this system exclusive. It'll go to the machine, this bar will take a little while to go through it all. Don't touch your unit while this is happening. Don't touch a knob, don't touch a button on the floor, don't try and play your unit. Just don't do any of that. It's too risky. Uh, the other thing that's going to happen is on the screen of your Axe FX, it's going to say updating DSP firmware, uh, file transfer in progress. And you just let it do its thing. This is Cliff doing its magic. It's going to update the firmware. It's going to clean some things up. And when it's all said and done, it's going to say, okay, you need to reboot your Axe FX 3. That means you got to turn it off, wait five seconds, and turn it back on, and the new firmware should be in place, and we're going to check that with FractalBot. You probably want to save these firmwares, move them or copy them over into the file where you keep the presets, so you've always got that firmware associated with those presets. It's a good idea to do that. Um, there is a website somewhere maintained in France by some wonderful folks that has every single firmware that Fractal's ever done, and it saved me a couple of times. Um, so this firmware takes a while, as you can see, and I told you this was just going to, we're going to show you what the process is like. It takes a little time to do that. So look, we're almost done here. The bar is at 98, 99, 100, and now we're going to get this message, right? And if you looked at your screen, it will say updating DSP firmware, firmware verified, writing to flash. It happens pretty quick. Now, when you get this message on your computer screen, that's when it's asking you to uh, update. Now, if you like me and you've got this plugged into a, a, a system, you probably want to turn the volume down because it can make a little pop or a click when it boots back up. Not always, but 
you don't want to pop or click your speaker. So I just turned down on my um, console that. So I'm clicking OK. And it's now booting up. And remember, I've got FractalBot running here. So it's trying to look at it, but notice that it can't see the firmware yet. Okay, it's all booted up. There it goes. So it saw it. It says, hey, you're running firmware 11. So that's how you can update firmware. Now, suppose that you liked firmware 6.04 several things back, which, which was the firmware for quite, quite many months. And I liked it very, very much. There is a Naked Amps Tone Pack that works very well with that, as well as a Brit Rock Royalty Tone Pack it was designed on. You, you can find that firmware, you can load that in, and you can run those old presets under that firmware, and it will sound great. So you don't have to do that. I'm just letting you know that these are your options.